Real feel. The first natural feeling. Catch up on demand. There's an exciting new site to Skystore. As well as renting the latest blockbusters and classics, now you can buy and keep them too. Get them straight to your TV in stunning HD to keep them to watch again and again. And when you buy a movie, we'll even post you the DVD to add to your collection. It's so easy, you can buy at the touch of a button. Get the best of both worlds with Skystore. Movie straight to your TV and a DVD direct to your home. Sky, believe in better. the host of Blockbusters, Bob Holness. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you and welcome to Blockbusters, the brand new general knowledge quiz game in which we give away a whole list of magnificent prizes. And the prizes are given to contestants between the ages of 16 and 18. And not only to the contestants, to the schools which they come from as well. It's the whole purpose of the game, and if you've been watching this week, you'll know that two young ladies, two very impressive young ladies, Verity and Ruth, have managed to surge through to what we know on the uh, contest as a gold game. Now, they've done a gold run three times. They're going to their fourth now, so they know what it's about, but you might not. So let's have a look at the board, just to recap. It's a board which is divided into sections, compartments, or units as we call them, and there are letters in each unit. <clears throat> now, those letters are the initial letters to the answers of the questions which I shall be setting. The aim of the game is for Ruth, in this case, to get across the board and make that connection gold to gold in an easy way like that, or one of the more difficult ways like that. It doesn't matter how she does it, as long as she does it. And if she does it, she collects one of the major blockbuster prizes. If she doesn't, she gets at least £10 for each correct answer. Well, we'll find out what the major prize is later on, if she makes that connection. But let's say hello again to Ruth. Hello, Ruth. Ready to do your gold run? Yes, thank you. Then let us please put you on the hot spot. Ruth, let me just remind you, 60 seconds you've got. If you make that connection, you get a major prize. If you don't, you get £10 for each of the questions you answer correctly. The condition is you do it in 60 seconds, and that 60 seconds is timed from the moment you give me the initial letters on the left-hand side that you want to start with. It's all yours. BD. An engaged girl used to collect stuff for her first home in this. Pass. AMOS. A very long time might even be never. Pass. ATG. What people called Queen Victoria's consort? Albert the Great. No. Pass. JS. Work by Mozart that bears a planet's name. Pass. DOI. Enacted by Congress on July the 4th, 1776. Pass. TWAO. Radio 4 News at lunchtime. The World at One. Correct. OK, see. A merry old soul entertained by three violinists. Pass, PT. Theory of the movements of the Earth's crust. Pass, WC. WC. <laughs> and before we could get to WC, time ran out. By that 50 seconds was over, you won yourself ten pounds, but you have in fact passed on quite a number of them. The questions you passed on were work by Mozart that bears a planet's name, Jupiter Symphony, an engaged girl used to collect her stuff for her first home in this bottom drawer, a very long time might even be never, a month of Sundays, 
what people called Queen Victoria's consort, Albert the Good, PT, theory of movement of the Earth's crust, plate tectonics, OKC, a merry old soul entertained by three violinists, Old King Cole, and DOI, finally, enacted by Congress on July 4th, 1776, Declaration of Independence. Ruth, I am sorry, but thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Why I should be sorry, I don't know. I mean, they say you can't win all the time, but by goodness, they've won enough on this show. Verity and Ruth have amassed £280 each so far, as well as a 12-inch portable TV and radio cassette each, video recorders for the school, and 25 driving lessons each. So that's not bad. They've been with us now for the third day, and we are going to meet the person who may just stop it all. Let's meet the next contestant, who's going to play Blockbusters. <laughs> James, welcome. Are you filled with trepidation? Uh, yes. Yes, I thought you might. <laughs> it's a daunting be, yes. prospect. Well, it is indeed, but uh, everybody has to stop at one time or another, and this could be it. Where do you come from, James? Birmingham. Um, Birmingham? I'm at the King Edward's Camp Hill School in Birmingham. Aha. Uh -huh. We asked the girls their interests, and those who are with us Monday and Tuesday know that, but we don't know anything about yours. Do you have interests outside school? Yes. Um, I'm quite interested in the church, church activities, um, photography, acting. Sort of, sort of thing. Quite a lot, right across the board. Yes, I am. Right. OK, looking forward to this game. Yes. Yes, it's going to be fun, I think. Yes. But for those of you who don't know what it's all about, let's do a very quick recap, because we've been going now since Monday, it's now Wednesday, and one or two of you might have joined us for the first time. So let me recap on the board. Here it is again. As the a... way the game works is that the girls have to make their way across the board, left to right, blue to blue, in a simple way, like that, for instance, or, as an example, in a more complicated way like that. While all this is going on, our new contestant is going to work his way down the board, white to white. He has slightly less of a distance to go, which balances things up. That's the more complicated way. The other, of course, was the simple. The games are played in threes. It's best of three. And, of course, the team that wins two out of that three go into the goal run, which we've just seen. So, those are the rules. We've met the contestants. Let's get together and play. Blockbusters. You get the chance, contestants, of course, to choose the letters later, but the first letter is always chosen for us. It's P, and here we go. What P is demonstrated in the statement, the Egyptians received a check on the bank of the Red Sea, which was crossed by Moses? Very complicated, that one. I, I'm sorry I didn't repeat it, but one doesn't in this game. Punning, or pun, is the answer. P, and we have another P question. What P do mice do when the cat's away? Quick. Play. <laughs> <laughs> it is so tempting to shout it out. Sorry. Yes, it's OK. You went for the button, but you didn't get there quite quickly enough. Verity got there first. Play. Yes, Verity. Play it was, indeed. And where do you want to go next? D, please. D. So you're going right across the board. D is the question. Buttons, please, everybody. What D sang Mellow Yellow and Hurdy Gurdy Man? Crumbs, you can't be as young as that, surely. Donovan is the answer. Donovan. Let's go for another D. What D turned into a tree to escape Apollo? Daphne was the answer to that. We've got plenty of Ds left. Looks like we're going to need them. What D is the popular name for Sirius, the brightest star in the firmament? That's Ruth? Dog star. Dog star's right. Well done. <laughs> OK, Ruth, where now? G, please. G to make the connection on the right-hand side. Let's see if you can. Don't forget you can block her, James. What G is the name of a district in the Caucasus, a sweet Miss Brown, and a southern state of America? Yes, James. Georgia. Georgia is correct. Well done. <laughs> and from sweet Georgia Brown to your next choice. Um, o, please. You want to go to that top one, O, to make your connection at the top of the board. What O is a vegetable also used to make a yellow dye? <laughs> How many vegetables can you think of beginning with O? Onion, Onion is the answer. Yes. <laughs> Bit late. Sorry. Here we go. What O is what you pour very, very slowly into mayonnaise? Yes, Ruth? Oil. Oil is the right answer. Good. And it's your choice. B, please. B. Right. 
What be are people of the West Pyrenees who are separatists? Yes, James. Basque. Basques is right. Well done. <laughs> Nicely blocked, and it gives you another white. Where next? Um, H, please. H, the connection at the top again. What H ordered the massacre of the innocents? Yes, Ruth. Herod. Herod is right. Well done. <laughs> and it's turning into an interesting board, isn't it? Where do you want to go, Ruth? N, please. What N is a songbird or a famous... <laughs> yes, Ruth? Nightingale. Nightingale's right. Well interrupted, yes. <laughs> I was going to say a famous pioneer nurse, but you probably guessed that. Now where? T, please. T. OK, let's go for T. Well, so to speak. Now, <laughs> what T uh, is a bicycle made for two? Whee! Everybody goes for the button, but you got there first, Ruth. Tandem. Tandem is correct. Well done. Well, there's that blue flashing that means there's one unit to go to make that connection, unless it's blocked by Edward. So, which one are you going to choose? M, please. Yes, I thought you might. M. OK, here we go. What M is the name of the Roman god of war? No, you didn't do it, I'm afraid. Ver uh, Verity did? Yes. Mars. Mars is right, yes. Well done, that's close. That is indeed a blockbuster. I was going to say, and of the red planets, but you didn't need me to say it. Well, there we go again. It puts your prize up to £315 each. James has got £10, and we're going into the second game of the three. James, you've got to do well on this one. I don't want to worry you, but you have got to do well <laughs> on this one, OK? Girls, you ready? Well, so are we. So let's look at the board for the next game as we come up for the second game of three. And the letter to choose is M. M starts us off. Here we go. What M is the lace veil worn by Spanish women over the head and shoulders? Yes, James. Is it the mustache? No, it's not, I'm afraid. Uh, yes, I'm putting the question again. What M is the lace veil worn by Spanish women over the head and shoulders? You raised your hand, Ruth. Yes. Mandela. Mantilla is right. Well done. That gives you a start right at the top left-hand corner of the board. The board's yours. J, please. J, OK. What J was an American general nicknamed Stonewall? <laughs> ah, Stonewall Jackson, it was. Stonewall Jackson. Another J coming up. What J are the most important veins in the neck? <laughs> yes, they all three twitched, and again, Ruth got there first. Your reactions are good. What are they? Jugular vein. Jugular veins, they are indeed, yes. So, number three. B, please. B? Okay. What B lay in state in Moscow in November 1982? And it's, yet again, it's Ruth. Brezhnev. Brezhnev is right. Well done. That's three in a row. Very <laughs> good. Oh, ah, yes, right. Oh, let's see. What R was the organisation in France during the World War to... Yes, Ruth? Resistance. Resistance is right. Well interrupted. <laughs> yes, it was in other countries too, and they fought the occupying forces, but you didn't need to be told. Right, now, what do you want to go for? G, please. G? What G was Catesby's 1605 plot? Too late, James. So, see if you can get this one. Either of you. All of you. What G is a glove thrown down? Yes, James. Gauntlet. He's absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> Has the rot set in, we ask ourselves. There's a white block there which has stopped that blue connection. We'll be finding out what happens next in just a moment. Come back to us. <laughs> Great Taste of America is back at McDonald's. Five weeks, five burgers, five tastes. This week, get a taste of Memphis with the Memphis Special. Here for one week only.
work with thousands of full and part-time jobs available now, there's more than one way to be the best. Apply now. Search Army Jobs. Still nothing? No. <gasps> Comparison blindness. Try these go compare glasses. <laughs> Why not take them for a spin? I can see clear. Go compare uses data from de facto. So spotting the difference between policies is easy. Visit Go Compare. How you like Jump Street now? So we're going back to high school? Your ass look like you're about 50. You two are going to college. <laughs> Let's do this. They're taking Jump Street. You all right? I'm the first person in my family to pretend to go to college. To a whole new level. Spring break. Are you two messing around in school again? <clears throat> oh. How you doing? You look 45 years old. I'm 19, so. You were thrusting so hard, I thought your hip popped out. Damn! 22 Jump Street. With thousands of paid part-time jobs available in the Army Reserve, there's more than one way to be the best. Apply now. Search Army Jobs. <laughs> if, like me, you enjoy catching up on any news that you've missed, then we have got a great news service that you will love. Sky News is now on Catch Up TV. So, you can watch all the latest stories whenever you want. Plus, there are special programmes on everything from technology to showbiz. And you can even relive those amazing moments from the past. Easy. And it's free for Sky TV customers. And hopefully, Sky TV presenters. For events, rides and tips, visit GoSkyRide.com. Welcome back. And if you think you've had a nervous time there at home waiting to see what happens, think what the contestants have been like here in the studio. I haven't noticed any of them biting their nails. You don't go in for nail biting, do you? Mm. There are a certain number of damp palms, I feel, amongst you all. Let me just recap, for those of you who've just joined us, we are in the midst of the most exciting game in which the girls, coloured blue, are streaking across the board. They almost made a connection on the right-hand side. It was blocked by our friend James here, and he's about to choose the next letter. James, it's all yours. The letter A, please. The letter A, right up at the top right-hand corner. What A was the connection between Japan, Germany and Italy? Yes, James. Alliance. No, it's not the right answer. I'll have to repeat the question to the girls. What A was the connection between Japan, Germany and Italy? Yes? Axis. Axis is right. Yes, it's right. <laughs> and it means that you just need one more square to make that connection yet again. So where are you going to pick? T, please. Verity picks T. And this is the question. What T is a very coloured design for woolen cloth? closely associated with the clans of Scotland. Yes, it's that easy, but you've got to be quick. Verity got it Tartan. again. Tartan. Tartan is right. Well done. And that's the bold one. Well, indeed, two out of three, and that means it's another gold run, the fifth that the girls have been in for, and that's very significant, as we'll be hearing in just a moment. First of all, it's our sad duty to say, or mine at any rate, to say goodbye to James, who has, in fact, earned himself £15, as well as, of course, that beautiful uh, dictionary, the leather-bound blockbuster dictionary, and a blockbuster sweatshirt. So, James, give my regards to Birmingham. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, now, girls, as we know, the gold run is played alternately. It was Ruth last time, so Verity this time it's you, yes? OK. Well, in case you don't know there at home, what happens now is that we go in for a gold run, which is one of the major prizes on Blockbusters. It's a major prize, and it really is a very big prize because it is the fifth one in a row. And the gold run only extends to five. The girls after this, if they win or if they lose, will have to bow out. But what they bow out with, we've yet to find out. So, let's have another brief look at the board. And you see there are multiple letters instead of single ones. That means multiple word answers. The connection, the gold run, has to be made from left to right, like so, in a simple manner, perhaps. 
or in a rather more complicated way anywhere on the board. It could be that, for instance. But the essential thing to bear in mind is that that gold connection, which brings forth a major prize on blockbusters, has to be made in 60 seconds. And the person who's going to make it, or not, as the case may be, is Verity. It's your turn, Verity. And this is a rather special one, so will you allow us, for the last time, in fact, to put you on the hotspot? So, Verity, you're on the hot spot. The connection has to be made in 60 seconds, left to right. If it's not made, you get £10 for each correct answer. And the timing starts from the moment you tell me the initial letters you wish to start with in the left-hand column. It's all yours. MHT. Where Alice dined with the Dormouse. Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Correct. HI. Another name for Linda's Farm. Pass. TW. Irish bank clerk turned DJ. Terry Wogan. Correct. YS. Beatles U-Boat. Yellow Submarine. Correct. PF. Goes with Pennywise. Pass. <clears throat> JTB. Came before Jesus. John the Baptist. Correct. SS. Flattery or a kind of detergent. Pass. WR. Hot cheese on toast. Welsh Rabbit. Correct. And that's the gold one. <laughs> Well, Verity, congratulations. Amazing performance. It is the last one, and I'll be explaining why in just a moment. But first, we've got to hear what that amazing prize is going to be. Well, Verity and Ruth have won for themselves the trip of a lifetime. They'll sail from Southampton across the Atlantic on the last of the great superliners, the QE2, enjoying the style and luxury of which is renowned throughout the world. On arrival in New York, they'll stay at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, which tires above the excitement and glitter of this amazing city. After two days of sightseeing, with the opportunity to visit the Statue of Liberty, Times Square, and the Empire State Building, they'll return across the Atlantic on Concord at twice the speed of sound before touching down at London's Heathrow Airport. And as a travelling experience, that's a blockbuster. Well, fantastic. Absolutely incredible. Come and join me on the hot spot. Come on. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. Girls, we can only say congratulations. It's probably one of the most superb prizes to be won by anybody on television. You're getting £345, 12-inch portable television radio cassettes, you've won video recorders for the school, you've got 25 driving lessons each, and you've got that amazing trip. Can I finally wish you the very best of luck, because we have to say goodbye to you. The fifth gold run is the limit on this particular show. Can I finally wish you, Ruth, all the very best, because I know you want to be a musician, you want to play the oboe, isn't it? Well, let's hope you succeed in doing that. And you're going on to university, aren't you, Verity? Well, good luck with that. Thank you very much indeed for being here. <laughs> well, what an incredible situation. It is an odd situation. It's a unique one as far as this game's concerned, because not only do the girls go back home to Felixstowe with all those prizes, but they leave us with no players at all. So it's time for us to introduce you to three new contestants who want to play Blockbusters. James, you first. How far did you have to come, James? I came from Brighton. Oh, good run, up from the south <laughs> coast. Where do you go to school? Uh, Farm Dane Sixth Form. Mm -hmm. what, what, what are you studying at the moment? Uh, computer studies, uh, mathematics and religious studies. Doing well? No. <laughs> <laughs> you may do all right tonight. We just can't tell. It's one of those games. What are your interests apart from the school? Uh, old coins and punk music. Old coins <laughs> and punk music. Yes. Good contrast. <laughs> now let's meet the girls. Your interest, Karen? I'm interested in drama and reading. Drama and reading. And Catherine? Uh, I like drawing and drama and pop music. Quite a selection. You and James should get together, compare <laughs> pop to punk. Anyway, what's your school? That's the important thing. Uh, we go to Haberdasher's Girls' School. Haberdasher's. Well, jolly good. I ask your interests because, as I've mentioned once before on the programme, that could well tie in with some of the prizes they may be winning on the game itself. So, having spoken to you about that, you've seen the game, we've all seen the game, so let's go into the first of three new games of Blockbusters. <laughs> Hands over the buttons, M we start with, and off we go for the first in a set of three. What M is the name of a Polish dance in three time, many of which were composed by Chopin? 
Well, that's a good start. Mazurka was the answer to that one, so let's go for another M and see how we get on. What M is the word for the state of being married or the right of marriage? Yes, Karen. Matrimony. Matrimony is right. Good start. Right in the middle of the board. So you choose, Karen. S. S. Certainly. No problem. It's this one. What S... And I'm sorry about this question. What S is the colourless, normally alkaline liquid found in the mouth called spit? <laughs> Karen again. Saliva. Saliva is correct. Well done. And you again. C. C. Of course, you can confer briefly on the choice, but you can't on the answers. What C is a very accurate timekeeper? Yes, James. Clock. Clock is right, but it needn't necessarily be very accurate. I'm afraid I must pass the question over to the girls. The answer is chronometer. Chronometer is the answer to that one. And we go for another C. What C are the small crowns worn at coronations by... Yes, Karen? Coronet. Coronet is right. Well done. That's three in a row. And one more. R. R we go for? Here we are. What R is a garden implement for flattening lawns? And it's Karen? Rake. And it's not a rake. What about you, James? A garden implement for flattening lawns or is a huge ocean wave? Yes? Roller. Roller is right. Well blocked. And that is where we leave it for today. We hope you'll join us again tomorrow. It's been an exciting show today. It could be just as exciting tomorrow. Why not join us and find out? For now, goodbye. <laughs>